Few know who they are. Do you? Many, many people don't know who they are. But what is there to know? And what kind of a difference does knowing this make to our lives? It makes a big difference. Because once you distinguish who you are not, then you'll be left with who you are. And that is gonna give you access to a whole new space of creation, full self-expression, and to elevating the quality of your life. Stay tuned if you wanna take this on. I am Dan Warburton, a transformational coach who's known for having enabled thousands of entrepreneurs and business owners to succeed in extraordinary ways. I've also got web spaces full of testimonies backing this up, and I'm often invited to speak to audiences of thousands around the world about what transformation makes possible. I now get to live an extraordinary lifestyle, and I want you to be able to experience the same. Few know who they are. Do you? Do you know who you are? Most people don't even stop to ask that question. Yet it's asking the question of who am I? Which is the key to accessing the truth of who you are. Because until you know who you are, all you're doing is you're living in an illusion called being human. And being in the illusion is limiting. Because as a human being, we're taught or we learn or we invent that to be human means to be limited. There's so many things that we can't do. And the fact is, is that all of that only arises, that conclusion of we're limited only arises in a limited interpretation of what we think we are and think we're not. Now, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to try something. And if you try this, this is gonna give you a deepened insight as to who you are, okay? Are you ready? So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to think the words, I'm fabulous. I'm fabulous, okay? So now, what we're gonna do in just a moment is I'm gonna ask you to say out loud, I'm fabulous without moving your lips. Okay, so after three, say I'm fabulous out loud. But as you say it out loud, don't move your mouth, just think it, just say it in your mind to yourself. I'm fabulous, okay, are you ready? Okay, one, two, three. So, did you say out loud I'm fabulous in your mind without moving your mouth? If you did, I have a question for you. Did you hear yourself think, I'm fabulous? Did you? Did you find yourself thinking, I'm fabulous? Did you actually hear yourself say, I'm fabulous? Okay, hang on a minute. So I'm understanding here that first you said out loud, I'm fabulous, but your mouth didn't move. Hang on a minute. So. You said, I'm fabulous, but your body never moved. Your voice box never moved. And then to add to it, not only did you say that out loud and your voice box didn't move and your body didn't move, but you heard yourself say, I'm fabulous. This is interesting. So, did your eardrums move? Did they vibrate? Did something make your eardrums vibrate to hear you say the words, I'm fabulous? And did you hear them in your own voice? Whose voice is that? Where does that come from? Now, as we go through an exercise like that, we begin to be able to very much question, are we in this body? Because if you were able to both say out loud and hear yourself out loud say that, both say it and hear it at the same time without your body physically moving, then we are not this body. We are happening outside of this body, around this body, or more to the point, what actually happens is our bodies or our experience of our bodies and being human arises in a space of nothing. 
That is who you are. Who you are is the uncreated. Who you are is the space of possibility. Now, if you go deeper than that, who are you? If you are not a human being, which means that you're not limited by all the mental constructs of what it means to be human and not human, then you are something even greater than a human being. You see, the truth is, human being is that the being part of being human is only given to us human beings. You never hear anyone say plant being or animal being. There is only the being human, being applied to a human. And what is being? The realm of being is the realm in which we can create ourselves in whichever way we choose to be. I can be happy, be fulfilled, I can be alive, I can be free. And the wonderful thing is about awakening to that realization is that circumstances need not dictate how we're being. And what's even more wonderful than that is that it's how we're being that gives us how we feel. So it's not circumstances, not situations that give us how we feel. It's how we choose to feel. Now, I, I absolutely, totally admit, and I will agree with any of you that might be thinking that or this, that things happen and naturally feelings arise. However, it's our interpretation of that event going forwards that then determines the feelings that we have. If we have interpretations or ways of viewing something that's happened that we don't want as good or bad or disappointing, then we have all those feelings. But in that moment, after we've had the initial feelings, we can breathe, they pass, they last however long they last, and then we can be unstoppable, alive, free. That's the realm of being, being, being able to create ourselves in whichever way we choose. So who are you beyond even further than the realm of being? If, if, in, if as a human being you can create how you're being, how can you create itself if being wasn't even a limitation? Are you getting a sense of your vastness? Are you getting a sense of the wonder of being you and how vast you are? You are completely unfathomable. You are completely indistinguishable. You are absolutely omnipotent, great. You are eternal. You are the space of wonder. You are the most wonderful, lustrous, everlasting opportunity called you that has ever, ever existed, that will ever, ever be. That is who you are. And everything that you think that you are after I've said that is probably what is not you making up the interpretations of what I've said to make it mean what it thinks it needs to mean, to give it safety, to make it feel whatever it needs to feel to feel safe. Oh, breathe. Who you are is just without words. You can't describe it. However, one thing I do know is that who you are is absolutely extraordinary. If you took something from today's video, then click that like button. Let's get everybody else enjoying these videos because we want to make the world a better place. As an entrepreneur, business owner, somebody who's truly committed to creating and living the best life possible, hit that subscribe button if you're really committed to succeed. And whatever you do, remember, dream the dream, choose the dream, live the dream. Namaste.